moment of pride as we welcome South African born and UK raised uh, violinist, award winning violinist Daniel Hope, who joins us this morning. It's great to have you here, mate. Welcome. Great to good be morning here. Thank to you. you. Good morning. I understand your life story wise. You were born in South Africa, you were educated in the UK, and that's where you honed your skill as a, as a violinist. Take me through those years. How, how did, did, that, did that move come about, and what have you been getting up to in the UK? Uh, my father is the writer Christopher Hope, and uh, he decided to leave the country when I was a little baby. Mm. Um, he was fiercely anti-apartheid. His books were banned here. And he decided that London was a place for us to go, and that's where I was raised. And um, we, through a number of coincidences, we landed up uh, very close to the violinist Yehudi Menu, and my mother became his secretary. Wow. And as a result, I grew up around a great violinist and, and violins and musicians. Yes. And at the age of four, I announced I wanted to be a violinist. At the age of, what, what is it that attracted you to the violin in the first place? At the, at, at the age of four, you thought, this is the one for me. I think maybe just the fact that for a young kid, sometimes the sound of a violin can be close to, to a human voice, to you know, a singing kind of sound. I was fascinated by it. Yes. Um, and to have the chance to be close to someone like Menuhin obviously was amazing because he played all the time. He played wonderful music, but he also had other great musicians who came to see him, like Ravi Shankar or Stefan Grappelli. So I learned very early on that there was no just music, classical music, it was great music, and that yeah. was fantastic for me. Yeah, I understand that uh, this year is a very big one for you in terms of the, the, the beginning of the season, 2013-2014 season. Uh, you've got concerts throughout Europe and in Asia you'll be playing, uh, and uh, you'll be playing uh, music from the Deutsche Grammophon release of Max Richter's Vivaldi Recomposed. Right? That's a pretty big deal in the music circles. Tell me more about that project. Yeah, well, Deutsche Grammophon is a, is a fantastic record company. I've been working for them now exclusively for the last eight, nine years, mm -hmm. and this new release is by Max Richter. He took the four seasons of Vivaldi, you know, one of the most famous pieces of all time, and he recomposed it. And what does that mean? It means he took bits of it, he resampled, he rethought, he reimagined it, and he created a new piece, which is fantastic. It's close to the original, but it takes you to a different place. Yeah. And I've been playing that around the world um, for the last year and a half, and there's a new release coming of that soon with a video and DVD. Yeah. Um, and it's a terrific, terrific piece. Yeah. And you also have your own solo album, Spheres, and uh, the music on Spheres by Daniel yes. Hope. What, yeah. what, what kind of music can we expect to, to get from that? Because I know it's available throughout South Africa for all music fans to get. It is. Well, Spheres is really about um, the, the music of, of the stars and planets. You know, yeah. From the time I was a little boy, I was fascinated by the night sky. Yeah. And there was this idea that Pythagoras had that when planets move past each other, they create sound. And I thought, why not put together an album that actually follows that and gets composers to write music that takes you to a different planet, yeah. um, as well as other composers like Bach, who were so far ahead of their time, their music oh, yeah. was kind of transporting you elsewhere. Now that's what I call imagination. Daniel, it's great to have you here, and nice we can't to wait here. to hear your music. In fact, if you would like to hear some of that music, stay tuned, because it's coming live to you after this break.